All right, so we're in uh, Laval right now. Just grabbed uh, some dinner. Uh, so we're on FSD beta 10.69.2.2, which uh, just got sent to my car uh, yesterday, which was September 19th. Uh, so we're just waiting for FSD beta visuals to load up on the screen here. Uh, okay, I think they just came up. And we'll activate FSD beta. I guess I could do that right now. So we have a 28 minute drive, 27 kilometers, a mix of uh, city streets and highways. So we're gonna see if we can at least do zero um, zero deactivations or, de or disengagements uh, while FSD beta is on. So I'll leave the uh, full screen visualizations on because I do know the trip. Uh, although I will not penalize it uh, on the highway. Um, it's still, we're, we're still on old autopilot, so I can't blame it there. Hopefully some uh, sometime before end of this year, we'll be able to experience FSD beta on the highway. I think that's gonna be awesome. So uh, what I've been noticing on this particular version is um, I'm, I'm starting to have uh, like zero disengagement drives just more often. Um, I had the chance to, uh, to go out with it last night. Um, the car feels more confident, feels smoother. Uh, it feels like a lot of the jerkiness is, has just been smooth, has uh, been like filtered out. So I, I just take over less because it feels more confident in its choices. It's, it doesn't feel like as if it's uh, alternating between multiple choices as often. So I, I wonder if they, they perhaps didn't change too much on the perception system. Uh, but perhaps I've been focusing more on uh, the control systems. So the release notes were identical to 10.69.2, although the car feels very different, feels very confident. So I wonder if this time uh, they updated the planning control system. Hopefully uh, on September 30th during Tesla AI Day 2, uh, they'll give us a little bit more information as to what they've been working on uh, the past year and what they're going to be working on for the next year or so. Okay, so the car should, okay, it's putting its uh, blinker on, uh, change lanes. So the car has not been putting its blinker on to emerge onto lanes, uh, or it does so very rarely, it depends on, on the shape of it and if it's, uh, if it's wide enough. Uh, so hopefully they do that. What I've what I really don't enjoy is the car doesn't seem to preemptively get out of lanes that are ending. So this is going to happen here. I expect this lane to end. There's a car speeding up to my left. Uh, so the car is not putting its blinker on. It's just going to merge into the other lane and it's going to do this type of thing where it almost kisses the lane line and comes back in. That wasn't that bad. But uh, I would expect the car to put its blinker on and and uh, show that it's it's about to uh, go into the other lane. So in that situation wasn't that bad, but you can imagine when you have a car right right beside you at the end, uh, you're, you're really wondering what's, you're playing chicken between the curb and the car uh, at your left. So the car is getting into the left lane here. I'm going to report that to Tesla. That was like a, a rude thing to do. I'm not sure if the car is looking at the uh, painted signs anymore in FSD mode. The car slowed down for the car coming into our lane. So that was a poor uh, velocity prediction of that car. I had to press on the, the pedal. So I think I'm making some enemies behind me already. Although I feel with this version I'm making less enemies than I typically do. It's like when the car makes a choice, it seems to be sticking to that choice more often than it did before. And it feels like it's exercising a bit more patience. Okay, so I think this is the right choice to get in here to the left lane, although we're gonna have to get back in at some point soon. Or maybe not. Okay, I think it's possible we're taking a different way than I'm used to. Okay, so we're going to get onto the highway now. So 
So FSD has not sped up yet, so I'm going to raise the speed limit since I do not want to get onto the highway at uh, 50 kilometers per hour. So I'm going to put my blinker on to get onto the highway. So now we're no longer in FSD beta mode, so I'm, I'm not penalizing the car anymore.
about to exit the highway and we're meeting up. We're gonna stop as a destination at the old train station. So we're about to step into FSD beta mode very soon. So I'll put it back into full screen. This is navigate on autopilot to bring us outside the highway. And now we're in FSD beta mode. So this is FSD beta 10.69.2.2. And so we're gonna have to make a few lane changes to the left. Uh, so we'll we'll see if the, the car is able to do them uh, quickly enough because there is an impatient driver from what I can see behind us. This seems to happen often here. So far so good. Hopefully the car does not yield too much. There are no cars coming. Okay, so this lane is ending. The car did put its flasher, that's good. And it is getting into the furthermost left lane. That was aggressive and perfect. So we're gonna turn left here at this intersection. So because the car got got us to the left lane quickly like that, we avoided any type of awkward situation, at least um, avoided the type of awkward situations I've lived uh, before. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to Okay, so our destination is really in this parking lot. Okay, so we have a protected left-hand turn here. And the car did that like a champ. That was so smooth too. It felt like the car um, had chose a good trajectory and followed that path the entire way. So we're going to be hitting also a point where there's an, instruct, an interesting construction scenario which it does not know how to deal with. I uh, haven't tried it yet with this update, so we'll see if it does any better. Yeah, so the, the construction essentially, uh, there's a road that's uh, that's closed. It's almost equivalent to this type of configuration. Uh, you know, two, two lanes on our right of way and two lanes on the other, although ours is uh, closed. So we have to uh, kind of sneak to the left and use the opposing lane. Uh, it's not clear yet if the car is reading all the signs, at least they're not showing them in the visualizations. So hopefully Tesla will be able to uh, put in the logic to handle detours soon. So we have an upcoming left here at the stop sign. So unfortunately, this road coming up is really rough. It's a 50, so the, the speed is right of the car. Okay, so the car went ahead and it's it's going confidently. In the past, for example, if that car had moved forward, uh, that, that maneuver would not have been as confident. Okay, so the car did react to that construction the speed sign. And it abruptly slowed down, which is good because it's having it's been having difficulties with that. So here the car uh, should be going to the left. So we'll see how it handles this. This is going to be really interesting with all the people in the visualization. Okay. All right, so the car should have priority now. I did not press on the pedal. And this is a 15. I hope it does react to that. Did not. Okay, so the car got us from essentially Laval to the train station uh, with some interventions just on auto autopilot, navigate on autopilot. Okay, so I'm going to take over here. And so thanks for watching. That was a, let's see how long that trip was. That was a 28 minute trip with a distance of 27 kilometers.
and that was FSD beta 10.69.2.2 going from Laval all the way to uh, here we're at Deux Montagnes train station just outside of Montreal.